Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. And today we're going to be talking about the imprinting system. We're going to be taking a look at all the different types of gear uh, that we can be imprinted. We're also going to talk about which one should be the priority and how big this system is going to impact Nino Kuni, whether it's going to be really big or whether it's going to be a little bit smaller. Let's go ahead and dig in. <laughs> So I first want to address kind of the perception of imprinting because I think there is some incorrect perceptions that it's going to be extremely powerful. It's definitely going to impact the game, but it's not going to be nearly as powerful as cursing. It's actually going to be substantially less powerful. Uh, for example, you can see here that I have a uh, Kronos bow on the Korean version of the game. I'm using the Kronos bow because it's the same version on the GL as ours. And even if you have a maxed out Kronos bow, the only thing you're really going to be getting is attack 1500, light attack 5400, and light attack plus 30% for the actual Kronos bow. Now, there is something to be said about uh, light element attack because elemental attack is said to be valued at 1.2 the normal attack, right? But you can see that, you know, especially on the global side with the way that cursing is, you could have players with cursing completely overshadow the entire imprinting system quite easily. So while the imprinting system is going to add kind of base stats to your character, make your character a little bit stronger, whether it's going to be armor, weapons or accessories, it doesn't really matter. It's not going to have that impact that cursing really has on your entire character and your entire gear. Uh, it's just going to be kind of like mounts where it's steadily building up your character slowly over time. It's also not gonna be like cursing because you're not gonna be able to get to this power level very quickly, right? Uh, you're only gonna be probably sitting, a lot of us will be sitting at like six for most of our equipment because you can imprint up to six without actually using the imprint stones. A lot of us are just going to be using imprinting to get that additional CP, that attack 300 on a weapon, right? For a total of like attack 900 across all of our weapons. That's basically what we're going to be using most of it for because the materials consumed in the imprinting system are quite extensive. Now, when you do imprint a piece of gear, you are basically taking another piece of gear that has reached six star, whether it's a three star or a four star and you're feeding it to your primary weapon of the same element. So when you feed that weapon, your primary weapon is leveled up between three and five times. Now it's random whether it increases to imprinting plus three or imprinting plus five. Essentially what it's doing though is it's categorizing what the buffs are that you're gonna get. So are you going to get, you know, if you get a five, you might end up with level five light attack plus five percent right so it's possible you could get all five into the light attack plus five percent category and you could get that just from imprinting a single four star into your current piece of gear this could be pretty powerful right uh this is basically how it's going to work uh you do max out the imprinting system at plus 90 for each category uh so that would be at 30 for each category right because if you add up each category that's going to be 90 which will then be the max imprinting that you can get uh and it's random it's 33 percent on each of these categories when you imprint a piece of gear which one the imprinting actually goes into now, different gears have different imprints. Um, weapons are almost all the same. It's gonna be attack up, element attack up, and element attack up percentage. Again, don't get excited when you see some of these through translation because they're not going to mean what you think they mean. Uh, for armor, you have basically the same thing through all the armors. It's only the accessories that really change. You're going to wanna prioritize gloves because gloves are gonna give HP crit uh, and then it's going to increase the base crit on the gloves themselves so just when you're going through here and you see this like you'll get plus 3600 crit plus hp that's plus 30 percent crit to your crit stat it's not plus 30 percent critical hit rate uh, so keep that in mind but my understanding is gloves are the primary priority now when you go to armor armor when you come down here is going to give defense up crit resist and crit resist plus percentage keep in mind that plus percentage is plus percentage from the piece of gear that you have equipped it's not 
based on your whole character. Uh, Helmet, I think, is actually probably one of the ones that I'm a little bit excited for, but I still can't tell you what accuracy really does. Uh, I guess I'm gonna give 2800 accuracy and then accuracy plus 30%, HP plus 14%, and then gloves as or uh, boots, as you've probably guessed, depending on the piece of uh, boots, are gonna give defense, evasion, and evasion plus percentage to the base evasion that you have on that piece of gear. So if you have a pretty high level piece of Dragon Slayer boots with like 4,000 evasion on it, you're gonna get 30% more evasion, which would be about plus 1,200 evasion. So when you're thinking about the CP gains for your character right now, and you're thinking about long-term what the play is going to be, I think most people can already see just from what we've discussed right now that the CP gains from this are not going to be extensive. They're not going to be extremely powerful. Uh, they're going to be pretty level-headed and pretty even uh, compared to the cursing system, unless they implement some type of change to the global system. Now, when we're looking at accessories, accessories are a little bit different. I don't have a way to show kind of the accessories right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the characters' uh, accessories that they have equipped on the Korean side of the game. Uh, so a lot of people, uh, from what I can tell, prioritize necklace. Now, the necklace, the reason it's being prioritized is because it gives flat attack accuracy and crit. So when it's maxed out, it gives attack 1080, accuracy 1680, crit 2880. Again, this is one of those situations where you know, this is not that powerful. This is like, this is good, but this is not the level of impact that I think, you know, a lot of people would expect. And you, you're you not gonna be getting to, um, you know, max out each of these categories. This is something, again, that's going to be slow and brought out over time. Depending on the earrings that you are wearing, you're going to get elemental defense as well as uh, critical resist and HP. So you can see here that uh, you do get different defenses, different crit resist. So the earrings are gonna change and very similarly, uh, the rings also change. So you can see defense evasion and then it has another stat which will be kind of shifted around. You don't see very many people investing in their rings. Uh, just if we're looking at kind of the highest level players here, you'll see even on the Korean side, there's not a ton of players that have their maxed out, you know, it, it, they're not maxed out in this system. Uh, even this player who's level 143 at 3.6 mil, who's the second highest on the server, only has a 50 imprinted gun, right? Like it's not a high priority. Like this person literally has an Awaken 7 Kronos gun, right? Keep that in mind. Awaken 7 Chronos Gun. Uh, Awaken 10. Um, <laughs> they have an Awaken 10 Demon Rifle for uh, critical hit rate and critical damage, right? Like, this is a powerful player. They literally have, you guys, they literally have an Awaken 10 Celestial Armor right here, okay? This is a very powerful player, and their imprinting is only at 50 on their rifle, right? So, the, it, that just kind of goes to show that imprinting, while it's interesting and powerful, is not really going to be the highest priority for all players, and it's going to be a slow process for most people as well. And a lot of players will prioritize like cursing or something else uh, in order to kind of get their stats here. Uh, you know, the characters that I'm clicking on, you'll see this one actually has a 10 imprinting on helmet. So we'll see what she's imprinted. She has 3,600 HP and she gets accuracy plus 3%. That's accuracy plus 3% on 1,700 accuracy. That's not a ton, right? That's not crazy powerful. So uh, I, I don't want to, like I feel like there's a lot of hype for the imprinting system, but I think uh, a lot of people don't really realize, like this guy's literally, he's level 136, one of the top players on the server and he has his highest imprint is a uh, necklace 10 and a weapon 13 right now. So I don't think people necessarily realize how lackluster the imprinting system is going to be. You're going to see a lot more sales for weapons that are awakening. So even if I go to the shop here, that's the summon shop. Um, it's something I noticed because they want you to feed your six star weapons, right? Like that's what they really want. And you look at like this, you look at this pack right here for Pufu that's out on the Korean side and you'll see that these are getting sold a lot more water web grade upgrade stones right 
because they want you to imprint your water weapon, well, it's really not going to make that much of a difference, right? It's just going to be more stuff and more stuff. So I even think, you know, depending on if they change it for global or not, uh, I don't think this is going to make nearly as big of a splash uh, as people think it will. So uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. I hope this cleared up the imprinting system a little bit for you guys, kind of let you see how impactful it's going to be or where the focus is going to be. And I will catch you guys next time.